Hello again, my subscribers and alike. My name is Adamsko122. I just woke up, so let's get recording. Today we're going to be looking at my top 10 personal favorite Star Wars action figures in my collection. Note that I don't remember exactly which toy line that they're from. It's just the ones I find the most personally entertaining. Shall we begin? Rules. Only one character per slot this time. Django Fett. The only reason he's so high up on the list is A, he's not Boba Fett, and B, these things broke off instantly. But it's still actually one of the better Django figures out there, and I love its detail work and paint and sculpting, and that's really all I can say without doing a full review on it. Next in the pile. Word to the mother trucker that can't shoot for anything. Stormtrooper. Classic bad guy cannon fodder. You know, rumor has it that the same guy that hit his head in A New Hope is also the same guy that was, like... That was asking Obi-Wan about the droids in... Just before they went into the cantina? Don't quote me on that, I'm not entirely sure. But the whole thing was... Wait a minute, those were the droids we're looking for! <laughs> but yeah. Nice little dude. Removal helmet is an added bonus. And I like him. Hoth Chewbacca. The only reason he's coming in at number 8 is because I got this guy second hand. Well, actually, that has nothing to do with it. It's because of the snow on here and all that. And I just wanted a regular Chewbacca, but I could thank my friend, who will remain nameless, for loaning, for giving me all his Star Wars stuff because he didn't want it anymore. I'm like, okay, that could actually help with review material. Story time over. Point is, it's Chewbacca, and I love him. So, of course, he's on this list out of all the amazing Star Wars characters in this, ga in this galaxy that we all know and love. Number seven's a little bit more on the Imperial side of things yet again. The Biker Scout. That weapon is not his, but this weapon is. Actually, I am never was never really sure what that was. Maybe a flare gun or a pistol? I don't know. I gotta watch... Return of the Jedi again. This guy was pretty cool when I first saw him on screen, and I was like... Bike chase in the forest. Where's there a forest where I can do that with my friends? Number six is one of the first clone troopers that I ever got. The generic clone commander, or just clone commander as it said on its packaging way back in the far off time of 2005, I want to say? 2004, maybe? I don't know. Point is, yeah, 2004 is when this guy came out, not to round when I round about when I bought him, so, or, well, more, my mom bought him for me because I got a good grade on my report card when I was in elementary school. <sighs> Memories. Number five, baby! General Grievous. This General Gr Grievous specifically. Excuse the lightsabers that aren't his in there. I put those there because I have them on display currently in like a battle setting. But I love this figure, especially how it's got the forearms specifically, and you can even connect these two to make two consec the two normal arms a fabric cape which i kind of wish had a bendy wire in it but that's just me looking for things to nitpick about this figure is fabulous back to the prequel timeline again for alpha 15 this guy originally came in a comic book two pack with him and Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I got this at New York Comic Con 2013. This guy is cool. I like him a lot. And he was, honestly, when I first saw him in Blood and Rain, 
which is again another com the comic it came with, and I actually got that comic years before when it originally came out. This guy was just so cool looking, and I thought of him as just the one of the most badass clone troopers I had ever seen. Even has removable helmet, but I'm not gonna attempt that given how it's just really a trial to get it out. But I do like him. I like all these figures. What am I saying? What is Star Wars without our little farm boy? Luke Skywalker. This figure specifically, though. He did come with a grappling hook, but when I... One of the cats chewed it up and I had to get rid of it. Eh. But this is supposed to be Luke when he's on the Death Star after he just got out of his Stormtrooper armor. He had a blaster. I guess I must have dropped it. But, yeah, this is actually, I think my, yeah, this is actually my favorite Luke Skywalker figure that I have. And a very accurate rendition to his Episode Four self. As opposed to how he is now with the beard and the scraggly hair and the emo, clearly from his father. <sighs> Whatever. I still like the new movie and I'm standing by my opinion. Now moving upscale about six inches, or three inches rather, I'm sorry. Uh, we have old Ben Kenobi, my favorite character in the entirety of Star Wars. Too bad he didn't make number one, only because it's not the best figure in my collection, at least in my opinion. Although it is a, if you haven't seen my review on him, please check it out. I will say this again, it is the perfect representation of the late Alec Guinness in his Jedi robes. One typical top ten action figures faction, here are some honorable mentions. And my number one favorite Star Wars action figure... Clearly the ultimate waifu. <laughs> I'm not letting that joke die. Uh, this Darth Vader figure is, in all honesty, an upscale of a Darth Vader I already have, but I still love it. I It's detail, it's metal chains, dark fabric cape, the lightsaber, movable helmet, all things I've said about it in my very first review. Watch if you haven't. And... I thought I killed you. I'll deal with you later. But all in all, this is my favorite Star Wars action figure. Just because of it, the sheer amount of oomph that was put into it. Anyway, that is all the time I have for now, so please be sure to go down in the description below and check out my friends, them being Blakey Blake, Sakura, and the Rolling Belay Man. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, ding my notification bell, remember that normal is based on your own perspective, and please stay classy, my sub scrubs. Oh, and if you're wondering why you haven't seen Steve lately, he's on vacation with some girl from a comic book shop that he keeps talking about. I think he's in love. Interspecies relationship, okay. But she is cat girl. I don't like this person. Eh. Well, also check out LFL, and today's like goal is two likes. Going up a tier, I guess. I don't know. Uh, share this with your friends. Tell me what you like and dislike in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Stay glasses.